Hey everyone, Val here. And Steve and I went to the Food Lion in the next town over um, because the lake is busy this weekend with vacationers and we just knew that the, uh, the Food Lion in our town is going to be wiped out. So we went over to the next town. So this is, this is my haul. You know, when Steve's like, well, it's on sale. Well, if, if they've marked up the price and then marked it back down to somewhere in the range of where it used to be, that's not really a sale. That's putting things back to their normal pricing. So, you know, there was a lot of, uh, well, it was on sale, but was it really? Because it was really back to where it should be. Um, so I picked up some of those. Well, it's not really a sale items. And uh, let me show you what we got. It's, it's getting a little crazy out there. So they had the body armor light put back at their normal pricing. So I picked up a bunch of those. I have not been able to find the peach at our store at all. It's been wiped out. Um, but I did find one strawberry lemonade, three coconuts, uh, what, five peaches, three of the tropical coconut, and the blueberry pomegranate. I got four of those. Um, so I got 16. They were marked at a dollar a piece which is normally what they run, um, except for they've been marking them up to about $1.50, so, which is totally ridiculous, and I've been not really picking them up. So um, I got my caramel rice cakes. eat those sometimes for breakfast or a snack. Um, got some uh, honey, sweet honey Catalina dressing for Steve. Uh, some Ready Whip. This is actually not bad because they have this at 15 calories for two tablespoons, which, I mean, I don't think that's too bad. So, uh, we're going to use that on some, some berries. Got some rotini. I got the 2% American Slices. Uh, two cans of tuna fish and water. Uh, because I'm getting a little bit low on those. So I got two of those. My Yasso bars, I was out of those because uh, I ate the last one yesterday. It was so hot outside. So I got two more. They didn't have, really, they had the chocolate fudge and the um, mint chocolate chip. I just prefer the mint chocolate chip over the, the chocolate fudge ones. I really wish they'd get the cookies and cream one back. I, I like that one too. They actually had the zero sugar chaboni, chabani. Um, I bought, I snatched this up because they don't have this at my store. I have to get the one with like 6% sugar in it. This has no added sugars, 70 calories, so much better than the other one. So I picked up that. Um, I got two of the peas and carrots. We used to get those for a dollar. They were like a dollar twenty-five or something now. So I mean that not terrible, but you know, still. Um, they had the strawberries two for four. I got one of those. Uh, they had the blueberries two for five, um, which is you know cheap for the blueberries. So I got two of those. I got my grapes. I love my grapes. Um, not sure what the pricing on those are usually expensive. Uh, I got some small bananas, small green bananas. I'm trying to go with the smaller ones if they have the smaller ones. Uh, Naval Oranges, Food Lion brand. I got some old El Paso taco shells. We're going to do tacos for dinner tonight. And then I had to pick up the ground beef because it's thawed out. I didn't want to try to thaw out something in the freezer. But again, this is, um, you know, only 80% lean for $5.19 a pound. Totally ridiculous. Um, I got some grated Parmesan and Romano Food Lion brand. I got two packs of the sugar, the four, four pounds of sugar. <clears throat> if you look at the price per pound, the larger packs were more expensive, which is backwards. But yeah, cha-ching, they're taking your money. So, um, get two of those and a 2% milk for Steve. 
I got some hazelnut creamer. We, that's my favorite creamer for coffee. I don't drink a lot of coffee, but when I do, I like the hazelnut. And we're almost out of that. And then Steve said we were almost out of the regular creamer, so I got some of that also. So this is my haul. Steve actually bought a few things too, so I'm going to do his haul separate. All right, you got a price here? Let's see what we got. All right, let's go over to my receipt. And this is what it looks like. And the paper printer doesn't look like it was working very well. So, you know, as you can see, the $1.49 is the regular price for the drinks now, which is totally ridiculous when they used to sell them for a dollar a piece. But I did get my discounts down here on them. Had a total discount of what? Oh, I don't know. Um, we saved $15.49. And the total price was $94.40. So, you tell me, is that $100 worth of groceries? Alright, so let's look at what Steve did. Steve picked up Twizzlers. And this is the... 16 ounces, one pound pack. Uh, he got salting crackers and he got a box of club crackers. He got five dollars, you guys, five dollars for a box of cereal. So he got a box of life cereal. It was like four four seventy-nine or something. I don't know. Um, he got some salted Virginia peanuts, some grape jelly, food lion brand large bottle. He, he picked up another thing of sugar. I picked up two. He picked up one. Um, kind of equal to, uh, you know, a pound. Uh, what's it? Uh, four pounds. So kind of equal to the bigger bag, but cheaper. Uh, he got, and this is ridiculous for bread too. He doesn't eat a lot of bread. I don't eat bread at all. But uh, used to be able to get bread for yeah, 99 cents or something like that. But this is this is ridiculous for bread. Uh, they had the pizzas on sale. Um, so he picked up one of the freschettas. And then he said the uh, turkey hill was on sale. So he picked up two of those. He eats the regular ice cream. I like the yogurt bars. So that's Steve's haul. And this is what he paid. He went to a different register than me that actually had some uh, tape in there. Or some, uh, he saved $6.19. His total was $34.94. So, $30, $34, $35 right there. A couple of things. I don't know, y'all. It seems awful, awful expensive to me, but tell me what you think. Some of this stuff was normal priced, you know, on sale, quote, unquote. All right. Give us a thumbs up. Let me know how you're doing with your grocery shopping, you know, if you found any great deals. Subscribe if you're not subscribed and you want to, and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye now.